Last March, Bishop Oscar Cantu of Las Cruces, New Mexico, testified before a Senate subcommittee. He urged our nation to acknowledge something we might rather avoid. Religious persecution is rampant around the world. Quoting Pope Francis, Bishop Cantu said we must name and confront the reality of religious persecution in the Middle East, where Christians are being beheaded for the mere fact of being Christians. He also referred to a recent UN report detailing the intentional and systematic destruction of religious minorities. The UN fears that we may be seeing a deliberate policy, a plan to exterminate certain religious groups. Pope Francis puts it starkly, there is no Christianity without persecution. After all, this is how Christianity started. Even before the crucifixion, John the Baptist was beheaded for preaching Christ. Immediately after Jesus' birth, King Herod tried to kill him, massacring untold numbers of holy innocents in the process. Hatred and violence are wounds, both ancient and new. What can we do? We can pray. We can pray. The bishops of the Middle East specifically ask for us to pray. They also beg for us to send humanitarian and development assistance. God may be calling many of us to provide that kind of assistance, and we will hear that call in prayer. Prayer is spending time with God, who is love. And love is stronger than death. Amen. Thank you for praying with us.